it's all good. We, we came and inspected the rigging. We're going to do another uh, stress test on the wire here in just a few minutes. And then uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Any accident, you can trace it back to some human failure, usually. Sometimes it's equipment failure, but there's often a human behind that even. I want to practice until the, the trick that you're doing is easy, and then you practice some more after that. Even after it's easy, you want to practice some more. Practice is your best safety device. If you've got a net below you, you're probably going to end up in it, and you can still break your neck in a net. My grandfather's brother was killed in 1936. He fell into the net and bounced out onto the concrete, and he was killed. That's how he died. So a safety device isn't necessarily going to save you. It's a false security. Practice is your best safety device, and don't go beyond that. We practice the tricks. I tell the kids, walk slow. Three rules we have. Hold on to your pole. My grandfather taught us that all the time. Never let go of your pole. Put your feet on the wire correctly so it's not going to slip off. And don't lose your cool. If you obey those three rules, you're not going to fall off that wire. Whatever it is that you're doing, you don't lose your tool. The pole is our tool. Yeah. That's what we work with. Focus. Yeah. High wire is 90% mental, 10% yeah. physical. You got to keep your mind focused on what you're doing. You got to be totally aware in your peripheral vision of everything that's going on around you. Like I said, I've had people jerk on a rope and almost knock me off the wire. I've had it happen. There are crazy people out there that want to see you fall. So you have to expect the unexpected, always. You have to be focused. Don't lose your cool. You should never lose your cool for anything that you're doing. Never lose your cool. When you're practicing, you're training that focus right then. And then when, you, when it's demanded of you, when you're in a tight situation, you can go back to that practice and you can say, no wait, I've done this before. I know I can do this, I've got it. And then your confidence rises, see, and you can do it. When you get in a tight situation, you're gonna go, I got this, man.